So it's a red hot Monday morning. I'm on a brand new building site. It's that new, you can still see the diggers down there put in the stones in and laying the roads. I'm on this new site. This is my son's new house. He moved in uh, about a week ago. Brand new house, just recently been finished, done. And it just goes to show the snagging in these new houses is unbelievably crap. So, brand new house. Let me take you through exactly what the problem is because he has got horrific mains water pressure. Let me give you a complete rundown of what we're working with. Stop tap's open. Stop tap out the front is open fully. What we've got, they've fitted a pressure gauge on it. Pressure reducing valve is turned up to full. The incoming main is barely just over a bar and a half. If I turn the cold tap on, and you'll see exactly what drops down to, about a bar coming in. And this is the first outlet, kitchen tap straight off the system. And let's just do a little flow test. On this tap, we are getting about nine liters a minute. Nine liters a minute of cold coming through the kitchen tap. Let me now take you upstairs and show you what's going on in the bathroom because it's going to explain why we're going to be fitting this Salamander Home Boost into this system. Upstairs, the pressure is that bad, you can't even have a shower. So, let me show you what we're dealing with. The cold, the cold out of the basin, flow rate of three, maybe four litres a minute. Let's do the hot while we're here. Again, three, barely four. It's on a combi system. Uh, so not ideal logic combi in here. Let's turn the hot on for the bath. As you can see, just about three litres a minute. Now this, let's turn this off. Turned it up to the shower. That is what they're getting out of the shower. It is absolutely shocking. Obviously, you lift it right up, get nothing at all coming out. So that explains why we're going to be fitting the Salamander Home Boost mains pump. So I rang Salamander, spoke to the technical team on the phone, and they said what you need is the Salamander Home Boost kit. I have fitted one of these before, ages and ages ago, before I started doing YouTube, and I was impressed by just how good they work. So we're going to fit this under this sink. So what we're going to do under here, I'm going to obviously turn the water off, disconnect it here and here for the pressure reducing valve, move that here, and then we can sight the pump here, and connect back onto the rest of the house, the cold for the rest of the house. But yeah, this system will work on a combi fed system, which this is. As I said, we've got an ideal logic upstairs. It's basically showing you on the front here, incoming main, stop tap, and then the home boost kit. Because this is doing the whole house, we've got to put an isolation valve after the home boost, but I'll go through all that when I'm installing it. So let's shut the mains off, take this apart in here, and look at exactly how we're gonna fit the home boost kit. So we've got the water off now, we've got all that drained down. I've just unpacked the home boost out the box, so I'll give you a quick brief overview of it. That's the actual pump unit itself. We're gonna situate it, or try and situate it, around there, give or take, and then we've got a metre long flex off the bottom, which I'm gonna loop around the back there and plug in there. This space is dead anyway, because the washing machine is luckily in that cupboard there. So we've got the flex there. Comes with two washers, obviously the filtered washer is for the inlet, so that'll go on the inlet side of it. Got two three quarter to 22 mil uh, connectors to go onto the brass body so you're not going to run the risk of threading it when you're putting it on. And then as it's feeding the whole house, we just put an isolation valve coming off the top. We've got a full bore uh, butterfly valve to go on there. So that's that. That's the home boost overview. As long as you've got three litres per minute of water coming out the first drawer off, it will be enough to trigger this home boost. So like with this, we've got 10 litres a minute here, but as I've shown you upstairs, we're barely getting three, but it will trigger from this point here because we've got, we know we've got 10 litres coming in at this point, just the, you know, the pressure is horrific and the flow rate's horrific. So that's a little overview of the pump. Everything comes here with your instructions. They're, they're really simple. It's just a case of putting it in line with an isolation valve 
and plugging it in. As simple as that. So let's whip this off, alter the pipe work, we'll come along here and then we can come straight into the bottom of the home boost there. We'll recite this probably about there. Right, I've just had to take five minutes out from fitting that pump because it is so hot. Summertime has arrived, finally. Inside the van at the moment, we've got 33 degrees. So I was absolutely sweating in the middle of fitting that pump. So I thought I'd jump in the van, pop the aircon on for a little bit, cool down while I'm here, have a little bit of a break and also give a shout out to this video sponsor. As always, it is the team from Y Food. Now, Y Food is a meal replacement drink. It's not a protein drink, it's not a diet drink, it's a meal replacement drink that will keep you full from three to five hours. And that works perfectly for today because my missus messaged me earlier on saying, when you come home later on, we'll fire the barbecue up, have something to eat outside in the garden because as I say, we're summertime now. And as it's summertime, Y Food always bring out a range of summer drinks. This is the tropical fruity drink. And also in their summer fruits range, they've got mango, strawberry, peach, and it's just a really refreshing drink to have. And it's a meal replacement, so you're killing two birds with one stone. Each drink contains 26 essential vitamins and minerals. It's also high in protein, high in fiber. There's no added sugar. It's lacto-free, gluten-free. It's all the freeze, basically. It's just a perfect meal replacement. And alongside the summer fruit range, they've also got the classics. Chocolate, strawberry, banana, vanilla. All of the usual drinks that Waifus do. Waifu to give me a little discount code, which I'll pop along the bottom here. Also, it'll be in the description. So if you hit the link in the description, go over to Waifus, order yourself some meal placements use my link you'll get yourself 10 percent off boy food have supported the channel for near on two years now so really really do appreciate them being involved with the channel i'm going to get this down mate then we're going to go back inside get that mains booster pump sorted so that my lad can finally have a decent shower and then he'll be off my back then bloody kids they never leave home even when they're 27 years old they never leave home so with the water off let's undo this as i've said i've already checked this pressure reducing valve this cranks right up and it is it just seems to be the the mains pressure coming into the building is horrifically rubbish so hopefully we've got enough on here to be able to somehow get this out i've just took the pressure reducing valve off of the incoming main and to my i would say horror and surprise but to be fair it probably doesn't surprise me at all the nut was on there obviously the olive was on there honestly where that pressure reducing valve was i've pulled the nut thinking we're gonna have to put compression fittings onto there i've pulled that and the olive has just slipped off there the same as this one the olive just slipped straight off so how <laughs> it's not leaked i don't know new builds some new builds are just horrific the absolute snagging on them is unbelievable. I, if I get a chance, I'll show you around how this has passed a snagging list or a snagging check with that shower upstairs is beyond me, but we're gonna put it right. So with the nut and olives coming off so easy, we've got a completely clear pipe here. So we can use the press tool. Again, I've wanted to use a press tool underneath the kitchen sink for a while, just to see how, what it's like getting it in basically. So. We'll get some elbows on here, we'll bring this down, we'll sight this pressure reducing valve here. I have had the cap off it, just to double, triple check, it wasn't even screwed in. So the pressure of it wasn't even being uh, restricted at all. So the incoming main is less than two bar. Um, I'm, sure someone, I'm sure someone in the comments will know. I always thought it had to be a minimum of three bar coming into a property, or is it a bar? Drop in the comments below, let me know. Uh, so we're gonna get some elbows on here, I'll put a drain off on there. We'll sight that there, we'll pop a drain off on, we'll get the home boost in, connected into there. But yeah, it just goes to show what you deal with sometimes in these new builds. Right, as I said, we're gonna use press on this because I wanted to try a bit of press underneath the kitchen sink. Now, I haven't pressed any of these in position yet, but as always with press, we've got to work out exactly how it's gonna fit in. And because I'm still fairly new to it, um, I've sort of mocked, I've mocked it up how that's going to go. We're going to run that there. Press reducing valve going to go in there. And then the pump is going to go. I'm going to sight it about there in the cupboard. And then we can come off the top across. Behind the back of here down and then back onto the main there. So I think that'll work. So I'm going to get this pressed into position now. And then we can work back 
from there. As always, mark up exactly where you're going to press so you can see if any of the pipes are slipping out when you come to press them. So I'm going to get this bit pressed into position now. And because we're doing it in 22, it's a little bit more fiddly, I'd say. We've got enough there. Um, an elbow. Enough there to be able to put our elbow and street elbow back off that side once we're in position. Yeah, that'll work. But let's get this first one pressed in. Just take that one out for now and press that first one exactly where we want it. So we've got that pressed into position. Now I'm going to put the pressure reducing valve on there and then come across and we're ready for the pump to go in. So with that now pressed into position, again with the T, if I put the reducer in there and then try to get the drain off in that end, it wouldn't have gone. So we've had to use a few more fittings just to bring that round there. But we're now on the upright so we can make our female line to copper into the bottom of the mains booster offer it into position, cut that in. Little tip here, if you've got a big space to span and you haven't got like months and rings or anything like that, just put a little bit of copper in, clip on the top there. It doesn't look out of place. It will support that pipe work there. And then we can then get the home boost put into position and then begin bringing it around the top and connecting it back onto the feed for the rest of the house. So I've used Loctite 55 on the thread of that. We've got our gauze in the bottom of that fitting because this is going to be the inlet straight off the mains and that will catch any crap that's coming through into the mains booster and then off the top we're going to put an isolation valve on the top of it. So let's get this made on here and then we can cut it into position and work from the top round back onto our uh, feed for the rest of the house. So we've now got the tails made into the mains booster. We'll just lift it in pop it onto there, get it tightened up into position. It's gonna sit quite neat there at the back of the cupboard. So let's get the fittings tightened in. Let's make a little bit of pipe off the top there and bring it across. We can connect it in over here. So that's that Salamander mains booster pump now in position. It's all connected up. I haven't turned the water back on yet. We've put the cable through there and we're gonna plug it into here like so. What I am going to do, as I said, this is my lad's house, what I am going to do is get a um, socket put in under here somewhere or maybe even just tapped in up the back there just to keep that cable a little bit neater and out the way. So we've got that there, we've put, put it all in impress fit which was fairly straightforward, even being 22 mil under this sink, um, it wasn't too bad at all. So we've got, that to, we've got that plugged in, let me just turn it on, it is the actual dishwasher feed but we will turn that on We've got our valve off at the top here. So before we open that, I'm just gonna pop upstairs, turn the taps off and all the feeds off upstairs that I opened up to drain it down. Then we can turn that on and see exactly what the results are with the Salamander home boost in position. Right, so we've got the coal main on fully. Let's open up. Pressurize the whole house. You can hear so if you can hear that, it's just spinning up. And I guess it's pressurizing the house. I suppose that is now spinning up because I flushed the toilet, so the system's gonna be empty. But let's have a quick look. 
Oh, there we go. Straight away, how much better is that? Oh, no. Oh, that's loads better. You can just hear it winding up ever so slightly, pressurising that main. But that is the pressure it should have from the off. Turn, the, turn it off, the home boost shuts off instantly. So let's run this tap up now and just see how much we're getting coming through the cold. Yeah, look at that. 14, well, as it says, 12 litres per minute. We're getting near on 12, 30, maybe 14 litres a minute coming through that. I think the big test is going to be when we go upstairs and check just what's coming out of those ones. Right, let's have a look at the bath then. The bath tap is where we was only getting, um, what was it, getting four litres or so a minute coming through the bath tap. And as I showed you before, the shower head was barely even dripping out. So, let's turn the bath tap on straight away. You can see it's much better. Then as the home boost kicks in downstairs, you can see the pressure's lifted right up. So, I think it was four litres a minute before. We are now on, yeah, we're showing 12 litres a minute on there. Yeah, we're showing 12 litres a minute. As it says, the home boost will deliver to you. And if we turn that up onto a hot, we'll set the hot come through a little bit. No, let's turn it that way onto hot, shall we? You'll see the, yeah, do you see that? So we'll turn it onto hot and you'll see, just as the home boost kicks in, it just pushes that little bit more pressure through it. So this is hot, 12 litres a minute, and that's exactly what we wanted. But the big question is, have we now got anything at the shower? As we knew before, there was hardly anything coming out of the shower. So, turn the shower on, 100% better. So much better now. With that home boost on, it's finally a shower that my lad can use when he comes home. So there we go, the home boost has improved the pressure and the flow rate to 12 litres a minute on that shower. But it's nicely tucked under that kitchen sink, just tucked to the left hand side. And as we know, when it comes on, you hear a little bit of a whir. There you go. Just hear a very slight little whir. Once there's stuff in that cupboard and the door's on, you're hardly even gonna notice that. As soon as you turn the tap off, it cuts straight off. So yeah, perfect. So if you're running on a combi and the mains pressure into your house isn't great and you're struggling for flow rate, something like the Salamander Home Boost mains pressure pump is exactly what you need. So a big shout out to Salamander. I'll put all the links in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. A little insight into just how to sort out rubbish mains pressure, rubbish flow rate if you've got that problem in your house.